we look at the uh, issue of disposal of Vancouver's garbage, an issue that's coming into sharp focus with the uh, pending closure of the landfill next year. For one year, we will not produce any waste, and as part of that project, we won't buy any stuff. There had to be a competition. The person who has the least amount of garbage and who didn't buy anything wins. Hey, these are pretty slick. Uh, you noticed that, eh? Sure did. I just don't want to have the plastic packaging. I want to get it in my container. Can I get it on a plate with uh, no toothpicks? No toothpicks? Um, I didn't want the toothpicks. Sometimes I do wonder because we're trying not to produce garbage, but then the person next to you in line is just getting their stuff double bagged anyway, and I just wonder if there's even any point in us doing this project. Two years ago, I started hearing uh, something uh, referenced, uh, described as a floating island of garbage uh, twice the size of Texas. This is what the ocean water looks like. The competition between the plastic and the natural food is greater. The trash outweighed the plankton by a factor of six to one. This piece is one million plastic cups, which is the number consumed just on airline flights in the United States every six hours. If we could see this stuff, behold it with our senses, we might feel something. And when we feel something, that's when we act. Jen has become so passionate about this project. She's researched how to make laundry detergent. She's made toothpaste from scratch. How's it taste? Not very good. <laughs> Your smile's getting bigger. I'm still trying to figure out how, how if I should keep holding on to a little bit of love. The number one thing is do one more thing. Let's do one more thing that isn't sustainable and change it to sustainable. And then just don't stop. The environment will win and hopefully I will win. <laughs>